and I'm gonna run it through one more time. Like I said, we do a deep clean every couple weeks on these, but what I wanna do today is just get any, you know, excess gunk and crap out of there. Need to, get to adjust it to get it back on, on level. Doing a spot and stop. Be ready to roll. Hey guys, today we're gonna do a quick clean on an AR-10, but uh, it's kind of similar to, to any gun. Uh, as soon as I pick up any gun, whether somebody's showing me their weapon, hey, look at this new cool pistol I got, or whatever it is, I always check to make sure it's unloaded. You know, if, if, if somebody were to hand me this canic and say, hey, uh, you know, check out this new pistol I've got, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure my muzzle's pointed in a safe direction, I'm gonna drop my mag, and I'm gonna eject it, and I'm gonna check it and make sure that in, indeed it is unloaded. Same thing when I, uh, so I know my guns in my safe. I know which guns are loaded and which ones aren't. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rack this slide, look down in there and make sure that there is no round in the chamber. So just uh, safe practice, anytime you touch any gun, you know, you make sure it's unloaded. Even if somebody tells you, you know, hey, check out my new badass AR, and they go to hand it to you, and you say, okay, is that gun hot, is it loaded? Oh no, it's, it's not loaded. Yeah, don't trust anything anybody says. As soon as they hand it to you, muzzle in a safe direction right to the ground and check it and make sure it's not loaded. Today we're gonna do a uh, quick clean on an AR. This is a Beck Defense AR-10. We're just gonna do a quick clean on this. One of the most important parts of this is getting our, our barrel splines to our bolt clean and then getting our bolt carrier group clean. That's uh, that's where I'm gonna get most of my, my gunk and grime and my dirt is right there. So let's start out with tearing this baby down. So we're not gonna do a super in-depth clean that we do every couple weeks. Uh, this would be like a weekly thing that we do as we just uh, make sure our bolt carrier groups are clean. So I've got my my uh, takedown pin right here. I'm gonna push this pin in, get it where I can grab it on the back side, pull that pin, now I can open her up. I'm just gonna slightly pull my, my charging handle and pull my bolt carrier out, okay? So the splines that I was talking about, guys, are, are right in here and they match up with your bolt carrier group. Uh, a lot of times, especially if you're shooting suppressed, you get a lot of that blowback, a lot of that back pressure. Um, these splines will get covered in gunk and just all kinds of stuff, you know, uh, uh, old powder, just all kinds of you know junk and things like that. And a lot of times that's what will uh, cause you to have uh, malfunctions as far as uh, you know rounds not feeding or ejecting correctly. A lot of times it's just to build up in there. And that is one of the hardest areas to get clean. You know, you can run a boar snake up and down, which is what I do. But uh, even running that boar snake up and down, it's not gonna get those splines. So those splines are right, in, right inside there and they're reverse of your bolt carrier group. So what we gotta do is we actually have to get a brush in there and you can see there's a little bit of dirt in there. We have to get a brush in there and, and clean that real well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out just by real quick uh, shooting a little bit of cleaner down inside there and uh, you can already see it's starting to drip down on the end. I'm gonna go ahead and, and run this boar snake down right quick. Okay, there it's coming out. So now guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this boar snake down here a couple of times and, and pull this baby through. And I'm gonna run it through one more time. Like I said, we do a deep clean every couple weeks on these, but what I wanna do today is just get any, you know, excess gunk and crap out of there. So I just run that boar snake down it a little bit. Um, you can run a little bit of oil down in there too. I'm gonna give it just a little bit of a shot and let it sit. Let it run down in there. Spray some stuff on here. and then I'll get in here and scrub that. And then I've got this angled brush that I've got here that I can really get in there and work those splines back and forth. So I can get those splines cleaned.
Not as, not as dirty as I thought it was gonna be. Another good practice, guys, is to have uh, an air compressor. Uh, I've got one out in the out in the trailer, but have an air compressor where you can just actually like blast that thing out. <clears throat> Next, I'm gonna I'm gonna put that thing together a little bit and just spray a little bit down inside here. Just wipe this thing out. I said we're just doing a quick clean. I'll get a little bit of a little bit of oil in there. And guys, you don't need to use a, a whole lot of oil and have an excessive amount of oil. Um, if you uh, over oil your gun, you're going to pick up every bit of dust and dirt and grime and everything floating around. So when you go ahead and oil your gun, I always uh, put a, a decent amount of oil on and then go go back in and wipe it out. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this bolt carrier group. I always throw a rag down so I don't lose my pieces. So here we've got our, our, uh, our cotter pin for holding our, uh, our firing pin. And sometimes these can be a little bit troublesome to get in and out. Pull it out, set it out of the way, slide the firing pin. You can see all the gunk on the firing pin right there. You know, it's got quite a bit of junk on it. I'm gonna pop this baby apart, slide that out. Now I do a pretty decent uh, cleaning on this. You know, I'll spray all this stuff down and then I'll give it a quick wipe and then I'll go back in and scrub it. I'm just trying to get the majority of the stuff off the, the excess outside junk that's on it before I wire brush it. Like I said, guys, we'll take this all apart and do a super deep clean on it about every two weeks, but uh, just to get the the quick clean, you know, when we're cleaning uh, anywhere between, you know, seven and 12 guns a week, just do a quick clean on them weekly. Yeah, not too bad, I'll throw him out of the way. Get the heavy, heavy junk off of them. And you can see guys, this if just to do a, a quick clean, you know, our guns probably get shot more than more than most guys, but just to do a quick clean on them doesn't take a whole whole lot of time. Now my bolt carrier group, I'm just gonna spray that thing down. Get quite a bit of spray on it. already see that just that real quick wipe down with your solvent gets the gets the gunk off it shines that baby back up this is a nickel bolt carrier so it uh, it is a little bit uh, easier to clean and not a, not a lot of gunk in there down so this particular gun here guys has your standard uh, cotter pin for holding in your firing pin a um, couple of my other ones uh, don't use a regular cotter pin they use a straight push pin and I like those a lot more because uh, with the straight push pin man you push it in and it's in there um, with these cotter pins guys you got to make sure that you're putting it in at that angle not like that because what happens a lot of times is guys will bend the piss out of these and what they'll do is they'll start putting it in and they don't realize that if they if they don't put it in horizontally 
it can kind of kind of start to catch a little bit and then they're in there twisting it and they're just twisting that end right there on their firing pin and kind of rocking it around. The other thing is too, is I'll show you when you go to put this in, if you push down on it and then go in, it'll go in a whole lot easier. So on my 300 blackout, this goes in either side, right? But on these 308s, got a, a taper to it, so it only goes in one side. So you do yourself a favor when you push this thing in is, because you've got to slip that into there, is make sure that the side that it pushes into is facing up. Get her lined up, slip that in, it goes right in, okay? Take and drop your firing pin down in there. I guess this one, I'm gonna put it all the way in through. Drop your firing pin all the way down in there. Make sure that your firing pin is all the way in. Okay, guys? Once your firing pin is all the way in, then you'll take your cotter, cotter key here, your cotter pin, and you'll start pushing it in. And so, let me go back to that. So, you know how I told you to push down on it? I, I can do this really fast if I'm not talking through and, and showing parts, but as I was putting this in, so I go to put this baby in, it kind of catches, okay? So I'm just gonna push down on it and it slides right in. That will save you a lot of headache and heartache when you're trying to put this thing back together and that cotter pin right there is giving you trouble. A Couple of Rugers that I've got, they are super tight to get back in. So you gotta make sure you push that down and get that baby to, to rock right in there. So everything's oiled up, we're gonna slip her back in. So guys, I'm just gonna slightly pull out my charging handle. <clears throat> this is gonna ride right inside that charging handle and slip right in. Once I get it to there, I pop it in, take it back down, push my teardown pin back in, and she's good to go. Love the two-stage trigger. So guys, uh, super quick, just easy way to get your gun, just uh, a real quick cleaning, especially if you've been out and it's super dusty, you're going down the, these roads and uh, you know traveling around in a buggy or something like that. If you're sitting in a deer stand, they usually don't get too terribly dirty, but traveling around, going on fields, they do get pretty dirty. Uh, also, like I said, air compressor to blow them out works really good. Thanks for watching.